According to the organizing committee, the public awareness and consultation is formally envisioned to achieve an objective of laying a foundation for the stakeholders to adopt an informative decision based on scientific analysis on issues related to water management. Addressing the event, the first vice president, Dr. Yagma Chateng, advised stakeholders to properly manage, develop and control the Sud wetlands and Nile River. We must make our decisions on our national interest. This is, this is important. This is openness. So that tomorrow, they don't blame us if we make a decision uh, that they may not like. Vice Presidents Dr. James Waniga and Tavan Dengai also spoke during the event. The world-renowned expert professor Taj al Kazin said, the Sud Wetlands and Nile River are in essential economic and domestic survivability for the people of South Sudan. Also, when it comes to water politics, I would suggest that we look into what we call interdependencies. Somebody wants water from me. What do I want from him? What can he give me? And that needs to be equitable. Form an all-party parliamentary committee on water resources environment and economy. The Minister of Information, Communication and Forestal Services, Michael McQuailweb, elaborated the importance of developing mechanisms to control and manage soot wetlands and Nile water. Because the issue of water resources and dredging has been a problem and so many people have politicized it. Meanwhile, it is a scientific issue that should have been addressed by scientists. We are required to be informed so that we decide from an informed position. We don't expect the expert to come and tell us this is the way. It is their duty to tell us the pawns, pros and cons of this process. If you do it this way, this will happen. If you do it the other way, this will happen and then the decision is less for you. So that when you decide, you, you would not blame any other person, but blame yourself for having taken that decision. The Under Secretaries of Water Resources and Irrigation and of Environment explained plans of the respective ministries on water and environmental management. The experts pointed out that any rash decision to dredge the sewage wetlands without extensive scientific studies would produce negative impacts on ecosystem, livelihoods, wildlife, and rainfall. Daniel Marenwek, SSBC News, Juba.